Lindsay and I are heading out on an adventure. We've been wanting to do this since we moved to Utah and just never had a chance. But today we're going to take a drive around Utah Lake. It's about a 100 mile trip and we're excited to see the far side of the lake. We've heard it's absolutely beautiful over there and can't wait to get this trip started. We're out in the Jeep today with Lexi. We've been on the road for all of five minutes and she's already sound asleep on her pillow. Typical. But we're really looking forward to this trip. It's been something we've been wanting to do for a long time. So we started at Pleasant Grove at the north, kind of northeast corner of the lake. And we're currently cutting across the northern end of the lake. You can't really get too close to it. You can't see much at this point. But we're going to cut over to Saratoga Springs. And from there we're going to head, head south and we'll get some good shots at the lake. As you cut across the northern side of the lake, you get a nice shot of the Ochre Mountain Range. It's really beautiful right now, this time of the year, with snow-capped mountains and the lower hills. Foothills are all actually green, which is kind of unusual. We've had a ton of rain and liquid in the area, and it's making everything really pretty, but it's not going to last. It's all going to be nice and dirt brown here in probably a month, but it's beautiful while it's here, and I'm glad we're getting out to enjoy it. As you round the northwestern corner of the lake, you get to look back over uh, Utah Valley and get to see Mount Timpanogos, and it's absolutely beautiful being able to look over the lake and see the entire Wasatch Mountain range, and it's quite a sight. It's very stunning. Uh, nice to see it from this angle. All right, so we're finally making the drive around Utah Lake, and it's really neat to have a different perspective of the lake. Um, if you look across, if you look across the lake, you you might be able to see the big G um, on the mountain, and we live basically directly under that um, in town. So it's kind of amazing to to see the mountains, to see Mount Timpanogos from this angle. You would think that being so much further away from it that it would look smaller, but I feel like it actually looks bigger. Um, so it's just a, a neat perspective to see another uh, viewpoint from where we live and what's around us. Are you having fun on the car ride? Lexi? Lexi? She thinks I have something. Do you like, do you like riding in the Jeep? Oh, you think Lindsay has something for you. It's chapstick. It's your favorite. Yeah, this is probably teeth marks from where she got a hold of it. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Lexi loves chapstick. Number to that sign. You want me to drive down yeah. here? Yeah. See if we can get up to the top of the hill. We're going to try to take a little detour. It looks like we found a, a little primitive public lands area. There's a few campers down here and a little road that leads up to the top of a lookout point. We're going to try to take the Jeep up and check it out. getting a little off-road experience here. 
Got her in four wheel though, going up a big hill. I think we're only gonna go about two thirds of the way up because the very top looks pretty nasty. And I'm not sure if we would even get up it. But we'll get up here to this nice overlook and hop out for a little bit. And... Well, and you're kind of forgetting one important factor. What's that? <laughs> that you're on crutches. So if we get stuck or something happens, like <laughs> it's all me. Oh yeah. So I'm a little reluctant. Yeah, I don't think I'm going up. This is that. good. You can stop anywhere up here. Just pass that big rock. She's doing a good job crawling right up in four wheel low. Why don't you back down just a little bit and get us kind of turned around so we're heading down the right way. Yep, perfect. I didn't know we'd be on a four wheel adventure today. This is fun. Alrighty. And then, yep. So. You wanna stop here for a bit? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like four wheeling and crutches. Gosh, the view here is so pretty. Oh, this is beautiful. I had no idea this was over here. I wish I could get to the top. Another day. Save it for next time. Probably not a good idea to crutch my way to the top. You no. tell him on video. You think he watches them? <laughs> yeah, I know he watches them. Tell him. I was just saying that I wish that my dad were here right now because I think he would love this spot. And we were joking around and telling him that I should send him a picture that says, bring your tent. Cause he just got a tent and is gonna start um, camping out in, on his property in, in the woods. Um, and this would be an awesome place to come camping and spend some time and hang out and just enjoy the view. You'd love it here, Bob. Check this out. <laughs> calling your name you got to get out here <laughs> so probably not pointing correctly because i can't really see the screen screen of the gopro but somewhere off in that general direction the very high snowy peak is mount timpanogos and that is the second highest peak in the wasatch range i think it's like 11.5 or something like that and i hiked it once what two thanksgivings ago roughly <laughs> yeah and that was pretty stupid it was way snowier than I thought it would be and yeah it's really bright um, and I got about I don't know got a late start roads were closed took longer than I expected lots of things went wrong ended up hiking in knee-deep snow got up to the top and got to spend all of five minutes up there and then had to rush to get back down before it got dark it took me like 12 hours to do the hike it was crazy but it was fun, got some cool pictures. I wish I would have had the GoPros and stuff back then and, and had a camera to really document it. But my goal when I get better is to get back up to the top. It is absolutely beautiful up there in the view over Utah Valley and you can even see pretty much Salt Lake from up there. It's, it's awesome, I can't wait to do it again. side excursion. How'd you enjoy the drive, Lindsay? <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> a little nerve-wracking? No, yeah, well, I mean, we haven't been out in the Jeep or off-roading for quite a while, so you definitely, you know, work up to things and kind of remember and feel more comfortable the more that you do it. So the fact that we haven't been out in the Jeep for quite a while, really, um, is one thing. And then, <laughs> looks. And then the other thing is just the fact that, you know, I have to drive and you have, you are on crutches. So if something happens, you know, it's that much more difficult. Should I ask them if they want me to take yeah. a picture? Southernmost edge of the lake. You can't really 
see it from our house, there's kind of a, a small foothill or mountain in the way. So it's kind of neat to see just how big this lake really is. It is huge. It's enormous. Yeah. So, pretty cool. There's not many roads out here and there's really not much of anything. So you kind of have to overshoot the lake and you'll actually end up taking the road, Redwood Road, or I think it's Highway 68, um, all the way south to Highway 6. And we'll catch Highway 6 and that'll take us back into Provo and then we'll be back in our local Utah Valley area. Just to the southeast of Utah Lake is Mount Nebo. That's also one of the highest peaks in the Wasatch Range. Uh, Randy and I did an overnight backpacking trip up to the top of that. That was interesting. That was one of the scariest hikes I've ever been on. We kind of lost the trail towards the top, tried to cross over a, a couloir, and couloirs are fun when you can ski them. Super sketchy when you have to walk across them. They're straight down little chutes if you're not familiar with that term and they're very rocky and loose shale and very steep and kind of crazy and we tried to cross one and I finally said look I'm not doing this this is this is crazy and ended up crossing over the ridge to the other side of the mountain and found the trail again and made our way to the top and then got caught in a little bit of a lightning storm and all in all it was fun but it was a little nerve-wracking but Mount Nebo is absolutely beautiful there's a scenic byway that takes you up around the, the mountain loop and we haven't ever driven that but Randy and I did a little bit just to get up to the trailhead so maybe we'll add that to our list of things to do this summer. I have no idea what that was. Does anybody know? Kind of interesting. Man, there were some steep trails up through those foothills. Oh my gosh. Look like they're big enough for a Jeep, but man, those get steep real quick. Definitely better suited for a Razor or a four-wheel or something like that. Lindsay said we should do them today, but I talked her out of it. Said, I, I don't know. I did sarcastically say that we should do that today. You know, it seems like the right thing to do. <laughs> we're in Springville, Utah right now, and we're gonna stop and take a little break before we make the final push home. We're gonna check out this park called Spring Creek Park. I think that's the name of it and it's starting to sprinkle a little bit so we may or may not get out of the jeep but either way we're just gonna pull over and grab a little snack and wake up the dog and see if she needs a drink and take a little breather and we're back in civilization we made it around the lake and we are heading back up towards Provo. We're gonna take one of the main state roads, uh, Utah 198, and skip the interstate, kind of make it a nice rest of the drive. So not a ton more to see. We've got dash cam footage, so you guys can enjoy the rest of the ride. And we'll catch you next time. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content that we put on our channel um, and wanna follow us along, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you next time and enjoy the rest of the trip.